Hi everybody and welcome to the channel. I'm Teacher Andre from AIA and today we are going to learn some phrases you will hear every day and you can use them right away. Okay, let's get started. Did you hear about... Did you hear about that jetliner? Oh, did you hear about Sam? Did you hear about... This means asking someone if they know something new. For example, did you hear about the new rules? Did you hear about that jetliner? Did you hear about that jetliner? Oh, did you hear about Sam? Oh, did you hear about Sam? I don't know what's going on. 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 Use this when you don't understand the situation or news. For example, I don't know what's going on with the weather. I don't know what's going on. 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 Ah, te quería mencionar que acaba de hacer, acaba de terminar un nuevo entrenamiento 100% gratis para enseñarte 7 trucos para aprender inglés más rápido, para hablar más fluido. Ahora mismo puedes bajarlo con el enlace pegado en el primer comentario. I saw on the news. Yeah, I saw that on the news. I just saw it on the news. I saw something on the news. This means you watch something on TV about a topic. For example, I saw a story about animals on the news. Yeah, I saw that on the news. Yeah, I saw that on the news. I just saw it on the news. I just saw it on the news. On to the next. Mm, good news or bad news? Good news or bad news? Is it good news or bad news? Good news or bad news. Use this when you want to ask if the update is positive or negative. For example, is it good news or bad news that we have a holiday? Good news or bad news? Good news or bad news? Is it good news or bad news? Is it good news or bad news? Tell me more about... So, I Survivor. Tell me more about it. Well, tell me more about it. I'm interested. Tell me more about something. This simply means asking for more information. For example, tell me more about your trip. So, I Survivor. Tell me more about it. So, I Survivor. Tell me more about it. Well, tell me more about it. I'm interested. Well, tell me more about it. I'm interested. Do you exercise? Do you exercise? When I have to. Do you also exercise? Do you exercise? This is a question about physical activity. For example, do you exercise regularly? Do you exercise? When I have to. Do you exercise? When I have to. Do you also exercise? Do you also exercise? How do you stay in shape? How do you stay in shape? How do you stay in such good shape? How do you stay in shape? This asks about staying healthy and fit. For instance, how do you stay in shape? Do you go to the gym? How do you stay in shape? How do you stay in shape? How do you stay in such good shape? How do you stay in such good shape? I'm stressed out. I'm so stressed out. I'm just really stressed out. 
I'm stressed out. This means you feel overwhelmed or anxious. For example, I'm stressed out because of work. I'm so stressed out. I'm so stressed out. I'm just really stressed out. I'm just really stressed out. I try to avoid a bad habit. I try to avoid sugar. I try to avoid saturated fats. I try to avoid, insert bad habit. This means trying not to eat or do unhealthy things. For example, I try to avoid bad habits like smoking. I try to avoid sugar. I try to avoid sugar. I try to avoid saturated fats. I try to avoid saturated fats. Okay, let's take a look at relationships. Can we be friends? Can we be friends? Can we be friends? Can we be friends? This is a question about forming a relationship that's not romantic. For example, can we be friends? I'd like to get to know you. Can we be friends? Can we be friends? Can we be friends? Can we be friends? Would you like to hang out? Would you like to maybe hang out sometime? Would you like to hang out while you're here? Would you like to hang out? This is an invitation to spend time together. You might say something like, would you like to hang out this weekend? Would you like to maybe hang out sometime? Would you like to maybe hang out sometime? Would you like to hang out while you're here? Would you like to hang out while you're here? I'd like to get to know you better. 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 This phrase means I want to become better friends with you. For example, I'd like to get to know you better. 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 Someone is important to me. This girl is important to me. Charles is important to me. Is important to me. This statement means that someone means a lot to you. You might say something like, my family is important to me. This girl is important to me. This girl is important to me. Charles is important to me. Charles is important to me. We're very close. We're very close. We're very close. We're very close. This means you and another person are really good friends. You could say something like, we're very close friends. We're very close. We're very close. We're very close. We're very close. All right, let's talk about books, movies, and music. What's your favorite book? What's your favorite okay. book? What's your favorite book? What's your favorite book? This question asks about the book you like most. For example, what's your favorite book? What's your okay. favorite book? What's your okay. favorite book? What's your favorite book? What's your favorite book? Who's your favorite actor, singer? Who's your favorite singer? Who's your favorite actor? Who's your favorite actor or singer? This question, of course, asks about the entertainment person you like the most. For instance, who's your favorite actor? Who's your favorite singer? Who's your favorite singer? Who's your favorite actor? Who's your favorite actor? What kind of movies or music do you like? What kind of music do you like? So what kind of movies do you like? 
What kind of movies or music do you like? This question asks what you like to listen to or watch. What kind of movies do you like? What kind of music do you like? What kind of music do you like? So what kind of movies do you like? So what kind of movies do you like? I'm a fan of something. I'm a fan of Sherlock Holmes. I'm a big fan. I'm a fan of... This means you really like something. For example, I'm a fan of rock music. I'm a fan of Sherlock Holmes. I'm a big fan. I'm a fan of Sherlock Holmes. I'm a big fan. That's it for today's lesson. Okay, let's quickly summarize what we learned. In today's lesson, we looked at phrases you will hear in English every day. But don't forget to practice these everyday phrases in your everyday English conversations. Oh, also, we have other free videos and lessons that our teachers have prepared just for you. And these resources will help you to upgrade your English speaking skills. So don't hesitate to check them out. Now, we encourage you to share your thoughts and experiences in the comment section below. So we'd love to hear from you and continue the conversation. And if you'd like to keep learning with us, subscribe and turn on notifications. All right, thanks for watching. I'm Teacher Andre, and we hope to see you in the next video.